morning and welcome to the Parkinson Association of Southwest Florida's Strength and Mobility Exercise Program. Keeping fit is as important as taking your medication. Part of keeping fit is a consistent exercise program. Exercise not only helps to delay the progression of the disease, it also improves brain function by increasing blood flow to the brain. Let's begin with a few rhythmic exercises to help alleviate some of the muscle rigidity. So reach up, big stretch. Stretch up, begin by stretching those little muscles between the ribs. Up, and up. One more, each side, just like this and then a slight change. Put your elbow on your knee and reach up and a little bit over. This is a little bit bigger stretch. Other side. And reach. And reach. Last one, come on up, sit nice and tall with your ears over your shoulders and your shoulders over your hips, chest lifted, shoulder rolls, shoulders up, press back, press down, lift up, press back, press down, up, squeeze your shoulder blades together and relax down. Bring your hands up, bring your elbows up. Another area that is difficult with Parkinson's disease is spinal rotation. So what I want you to do is turn side to side and you're turning from the waist. Now as you're turning to the right, press the left foot into the floor and turn. Turn as far as you can. Try to turn a little bit more each time. And one more each side. And back to center. Stretch your arms out. And we're bending all the way to the side. See if you can touch the floor. As you come up to center, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Open up the chest. Squeeze back. Squeeze back. And back. And one more. And back to center. All right, hold it right here. Now that we've loosened up some of the upper body muscles, let's try some deep breathing. So long, slow inhale and long, slow exhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And now we're going to reverse the arm position to warm up your shoulders. But deep breathing is really important because again, with Parkinson's disease, the respiratory muscles get quite weak. So deep breath in and exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more, inhale. Exhale, and relax. Now, let's work with some leg extensions. So you're straightening out the legs, straighten the knee, tighten the quadriceps, and change legs. Up, up. Good. 
What a beautiful day. Straighten those knees, tighten the quads, warm up the quadriceps, a little stretch to the hamstrings. Now I want you to add the opposite arm. So as you stretch out the left leg, reach the right arm forward and the left arm back. One more, each leg. And come on down, scoot to the edge of your chair so you can stretch your leg out nice and straight. Again, tighten the quads, straighten the knee. We're gonna do a rhythmic hamstring stretch. Flex forward from the hips till you feel the pull in the back of your thigh, and then come back up. Forward, easy stretch, come back up. Forward, and up. Hamstrings get really tight with Parkinson's disease and they need a lot of stretching. They interfere with balance and they interfere with mobility when they're really tight. One more on this leg. Come on up. Let's change legs. Stretch the other leg out and forward from the hips. Try to keep a nice flat back if you can. Forward till you feel the pull, ease up. And one more. All right, now we're gonna loosen up the hips a little bit. So I want you to stretch one leg out. We're gonna make circles with your foot. One, two, three, Four. Now change direction. One and two, three and four. Change legs. One, two, three, four. Change let direction. One, two, three and four. And come on down. Bring your feet together. Another area that gets tight with Parkinson is ankles. So you really need to work on your ankle flexibility, which again, helps with your balance and your mobility. Lift, just lift the toes, just the toes. Up. Focus on the up movement so that you're feeling it in the anterior tibialis, right in front of your shins. Up, two, three, last one. Lift the heels up. <laughs> Four more, three, two, last one, and come on down. Swing your toes out and in. Out, in, out, in, swing out. And in, out, in, two more. Now bring your heels together. Swing the heels out and in. One more time. And back to center. One more deep breath. Now we're ready to stand up. So let's start with a little lesson on how to get up out of a chair. Flex forward from the hips. You want to bring your nose beyond your toes. So you're leaning forward. Now lift your tush up out of the chair. You can put your hands right on your own knees. And you're up. Now since we're here, Let's do some chair squats. So you're going to flex at the hips, send the hips back, reach forward, come up, press back. Two, 
we're going to do 12 of these to strengthen the legs. One more, and hold it here and march in place. Alrighty, we're gonna do a little bit of movement here. So we're gonna step, tap, step to the side, tap. Now we're going to step and tap out wide. Just shift your weight all the way over so all of your weight is on one leg. And now I want you to shift your weight and hold it. Shift and hold. Shift and hold and shift and hold. And bring your feet back together. Now we're weight shifting forward. So you're going to start with the heel forward, heel, toe, shift all your weight to the front foot, toe, heel, shift all your weight to the back foot. Heel, toe, front, toe, heel, back. As you go forward, the arms come back, back, arms come forward. One more time. And bring your feet together and change feet. Step forward on the other foot and back. And one more. And bring your feet together and march in place. All right, back to step touch. Step touch. This time up to tempo, so it's a little bit faster. Now, tap. Across, in front, across and in front. Two more. Now cross and in back. Two more sets. Last set, back to step touch. Four, three, two, knees up. So step over, lift your knee. Step over, lift your knee. To tempo. Four, three, three lift your heel and back. Four more, four, three, two, and back to a march right here. Now let's do some alternating lunges to the front and to the side. You're going to take a really big step forward, put all of your body weight on that front leg, push back, bring your feet together. Other side, forward, push back. Reach the opposite arm forward, press both arms back.
sure you shift all of your weight to the front foot. One more each leg. And now out to the side, big step to the side, bend the knee, push off, bring your feet together. Bend, push off, reach out, and out. Two more, and a few more to the front. Two more, one more, back to the side, but this time, you're reaching across and up. And as you come, bring your feet together, bring the arms out and squeeze back. Two more, last one. And now bring your feet out really wide and turn your toes out. You're going to bend one knee, your knee goes out over your toes. Other side, and bend, and other side. All right, now. Stretch your arms out, because you're going to bend one knee, and you're going to reach down and across. Up, squeeze back. And take your time. And one more, each side. And walk your feet back in and march in place. Now I want you to go behind your chair because you're gonna need a little something to hold on to. So stand up nice and tall. Toes are facing straight ahead. We're doing lateral lifts to the side. Now this exercise works the muscles surrounding the hip. Anytime you work the muscles surrounding the hip and challenge those muscles, it not only increases the strength of the muscles, it also increases bone density. So we're lifting toes and knees straight forward. Also, if you happen to have them, do these with leg weights. Adds a little more resistance. Two more. Last one. And change sides. Other leg. And lift. Be sure and keep those toes facing forward. All right, and down. And again, behind your chair. We're gonna do some stretching of the hip flexors. So stretch back, nice straight leg back. Feel that stretch right in the front of the hip. As the hamstrings get tight, 
they tend to pull the pelvis forward. And then the hip flexors, also known as the psoas muscles, tend to shorten so that your, your posture gets, you get to look like a question mark. So we want to avoid that. Lift up off the floor, doesn't have to be high, it just has to be up. Maintain your posture. And now, add the opposite arm. So, up and switch. Switch. Come on down, take a breath, and exhale. All right, now just heel lifts, lift your heels up. And up, up, lift. Now while you're doing this, you may put one or two fingers on the back of the chair. What you may not do is hold on and bend this way. You have to remember to stand nice and straight and tall. One more. And lift your heels up. Stay up there. Still holding on with that one finger. Now take that finger away. And hold it. And hold it. And hold it. And down. All right, calf stretch. Step back, press your heel to the floor, bend the front knee, and just hold that stretch. And change legs. Come on up. All righty. Back to some movement. Back to step touch. Now I want you to tap your heels forward. Heel forward. And now up to tempo. And four, three, two, tap out to the side. So step, tap, step, Tap. And up to tempo. Four more. Three, two, and to the back. Stretch back. Stretch back. And up to tempo. Four, three, two, back to step, touch. And tap across in front. Tap across and back. And march in place. Now we're going to do everything we just did in movement. Eight repetitions. Ready? Start with heels forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now to the back. 